Hi, Cancer. Welcome to your Harsh Truth reading for August 17th through September 16th. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below, as well as the Recommend a Reader shout out, which goes to Miss Mary. Much love and support to her, and hopefully you get a chance to stop by, check her out, show her some love as well. This is intended for a romantic love reading, and a harsh one at that. <laughs> this is not going to be flowery, it's not designed for that. It's more archaeological dig, like what's really going on, what's going on behind the scenes. Um, it could resonate in other areas of your life, such as money, friends, family, school, um, job, work, that sort of thing. All right, Cancerian, what is your harsh truth? What do we need to know about here? What do we need to take a look at? Cancerian. All right, let's start with that. The Hierophant. Faith, control, connection, restoring faith. Feeling hopeful and encouraged and all is right with the world. Could be marriage. Settling down. Finding stability. All right, Cancerian. That was for Cancerian. All right, Cancer. Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Could be Capricorn. The Sun, Knight of Swords, Page of Pentacles, King of Cups, that could be Pisces, this could be Aquarius, Leo, Seven of Cups, Five of Cups. All right. So, hmm. Is this about you kind of being disappointed with the way things are going? Are you are you hoping that someone's going to take the initiative here? And this is okay, all right. Hold on a minute. What's this what's this sun about? It feels like you're in a, a sort of this holding pattern like you're wanting things to be a certain way but you're holding out for it. Hold on, I'm getting some water. <coughs> and I'm going to cough apparently. this sun about? What's this sun about? So we could have Leo or Taurus. Um, hmm, okay. That's the Knight of Pentacles. What's this Knight of Swords about? Magician. Oh boy. I think this is someone that wants to feel like they're in control. And I think you're just kind of hoping things will work out with whatever, with wherever you're at, right? Did you just restore some kind of stability in your life or have things been stable for a while and you're really hoping it'll continue in that vein? Or what's this page of Pentacles? Okay, crap. I was going to say, or is this a new, no, nope. <laughs> we got the 10 of swords here. So this is, perhaps things are definitively done for you. Um, and it, maybe there was a, a knockdown, drag out, you know, argument that really solidified this ending. Um, and you're really hoping for, to, for things to finally kind of stabilize and level out in your life and really looking forward to brighter days ahead. And I feel like your person is looking to literally chase after you and try to get out in front of this and want to take control of the situation again and want to reassert themselves and do whatever it takes to get you back into the fold. But you're like, nope, welcome to my new normal because <laughs> this is me moving on and being very protective and covetous <laughs> of my newfound stability. And I am perfectly capable of taking care of myself and my own. And I would actually relish that right now. I do not want connection. Whatever I had with you person is over. And I am happily learning a new way of life. I am happily, you know, I'm not looking for any offers of anything. I just want to create my own stability. But 
what's this King of Cups about? Ace of Wands. All right, what's this Seven of Cups? Seven of Cups. Five of Pentacles. All right, so while you might be very clear-headed and very optimistic about your future chances, I think you've thrown your person for a loop. I think you are behaving in a way that is very confusing to them, and they're not used to seeing you so grounded and resolute. I think this is causing a lot of um, conflict for them. And I think they're really wanting, this is, this is, the person you're dealing with is not the most stable or they don't go around, they don't go about things in a very stable linear way. They're more circuitous route and kind of zigzag, serpentine, serpentine, <laughs> zigzag. So th this decisive direct action and stable plodding along and moving forward is, um, probably what attracted you both to each other because they were very exciting and charming, you know, and cavalier and maverick, and you were very stable and nurturing and kind and, you know, all that. It's the very thing that repelled you <laughs> because that's kind of where you're both at right now. You know, you, you are who you are, but they don't want the disconnect and they're having a problem with it. And yet you're, you're seeing nothing but brighter days ahead and a return to stability for yourself. And they're like, but, 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 wait, what? <laughs> they're not there yet. They're not seeing this as a bonus for them either yet. Whereas you are, they are not. What's this Five of Cups about for Cancerian? What's this Five of Cups? This Five of Cups. There it is. There's that new beginning. These, that's that brighter days ahead. That's that like, yeah, freedom. Like, I, what do I get to create today? What do we get to go and do? Oh, I want to go do this. I want to go do that. I want to go see here. All right. What's your, what's this five of cups for cancer? This five of cups. Three of cups. Wow. Okay. So <laughs> this, I think you're, I think you've really got perspective on this. I think your person's not there yet. I don't know if you care what they think or not, but in terms of looking at both of you, um, if you are, <laughs> this is a reading for it, right? Uh, they, I think they're having a harder time with it. I think they might have initially been like, okay, um, you know, the, fine, all this and that, whatever. But then I think when they saw that the ending stuck, and you're not really interacting with them or communicating, or most importantly, you're not taking care of them anymore because of the ending. You're like, yeah, I'm out. I'm not doing that anymore. We're not together. So um, I think that's kind of thrown them for a loop. And I think they're having a really hard time adjusting. They're definitely feeling the disconnect. We got the five of cups here. We got the five of pentacles. We got the seven of cups. Um, and it kind of feels like they might be scrambling a little bit. Um, I think they're going to make some attempts to try and resurrect or, you know, reconcile, whatever you want to call it. But I think it's pretty definitive that it's done and over. And I think it's a matter of them accepting it. Um, but that, I think you're farther along on that than they are. I mean, we got the Ten of Swords here. I'm not making this up. I'm not skewing it. This is, this is pretty definitive. And I think you're able to see glass half empty glass half full it's it's worth it for you to consider both sides because you're not emotional about it so you you can it's not that it's worth it it's that you can afford to do that emotionally because you're not really emotionally invested in this anymore um i think you're ready for just for some of you it could be that the disappointment kind of brings you two back together um, for a possible attempt at reconciliation because of this person's efforts and they're, they're really turning on charm and charismatic, charismatic asking you to take that leap of faith and, but I feel like that would just make you end up back where you are now because that's what attracted you, that carefree nature. This person, you two have been through it. So they're not going to have much left to kind of throw at you as far as 
what's new and exciting and enchanting. I feel like because of the way you two have been together, you're kind of exhausted and worn out. And they can't hide from you. Like you, you know them better than they think you do. You know them better than they probably know yourself. This is not the most reflective or self-aware person. So, but you've really learned them. Why? Because you were taking care of them. So there's not a whole lot that they can really charm you with and get out in front of and try to, hey, let's da da da. Well, you know, the, yeah. so <clears throat> any kind of reconciliation, possible reunion, whatever, is not going to end well. I mean, we got the five of cups here. There's, it's going to be a disappointment. But it also is about you being able to have perspective and seeing that that could be this could be the outcome and you heading it off at the pass and being like, nope, <laughs> gonna stay the course, gonna do my own thing. This is me over here in my corner, none shall pass, leave me alone. So I, I think that might be their attempt to kind of, you know, come in all fresh and new and be like, hey, you know, like basically I haven't tried this yet with this person. Um, why don't I try this fresh new perspective, offer that whatever and hope for this reconciliation, but I think you're gonna be able to see that, you know what, no, my my happier days lie elsewhere and that's under my control. It's something that I wanna create for myself. So you go off to your new beginning, I'll go off to mine. And no disrespect for your person, but again, you have a much better handle on this than they do. I feel like they're still kind of reeling from the shock of it and you're kind of primed and ready I mean, look at this. We got the Sun, King of Cups, Three of Cups, the Fool. Like you're, you're really open-minded about what's ahead of you since the breakup, since this ending. You got perspective, and it's like you really like your chances. You like your outcome. You're, you're happy. You're okay with progressing and moving forward. I feel like your person might be experiencing periods of free fall and not being so okay with it. Um, and kind of still in a state of confusion about this disconnect about and and also there's a, a loss of stability for them because I think you provided that for them quite a bit and we've got the five of uh, Pentacles here versus the Knight of Pentacles and you know you, you took care of them basically so this is somebody that's really it's almost like maybe they're confused about whether to go after you to try and win you back um, and reconcile or if they're just kind of stymied about how to create their future for themselves um, I'm not calling them you know names or dumb or anything it's just that I think that I don't I think it might be kind of lost on them how um, what was entailed in being involved with them because there was a lot of caretaking on your part that I don't think they realized went on and now that they're in charge of their own care they might be kind of cart flopping a little bit. Um, it looks like your focus is gonna be on work, on stability, on doing things for yourself, on providing for yourself, maybe even going back to school. And it looks like this ending really opened you up to all of that. Honestly, the potential for what you could create now is amazing. Now that you have been freed up, this, especially the focus on stability and career and money looks really good. This isn't a career reading, but I mean, it's really showing here that like there's a, quite a potential for it. Um, maybe some of you might be starting your own business. I mean, but this is, this is kind of keeping your emotions over here and really focusing on the stability, financial security, longevity of your life and being in control of that and making sure that you're in control of that. So you're not really interested in a relationship right now. It's more about what you can create for yourself now that you're free. Because there really is a sense of feeling liberated here. And feeling like um, just your whole world just opened up. Like brighter days ahead. Can't wait. You know? Okay. All right. <laughs> Which is you know, kind of amazing. <laughs> Don't want to gush too much, but you know, wow. Wow. That's for Cancer in here. This is pretty awesome. I just, I, I'm really glad to see this right here. All this. That's for Cancerian. 
And I know this is a disappointment card, but it's also a card of perspective because even though there's three that are being poured out that are in disarray, there's still two that you've got that you can turn back into the five. You can, there's, this is potential, you know? So it doesn't have to be heartache and disappointment. It can also be seeing the potential that, all right, all is not lost. We learned some lessons. We got some perspective. Let's, let's have a do-over. So, and I feel like that's what you're doing, but not with this person with your life now. You're like, I'm not blowing this chance at my future that I get to create for myself. I'm not hanging my future prosperity or security on someone else anymore. I'm taking charge. I'm doing it for myself. Providing my own security. All right, what else for cancer? Good Lord, don't be rude. Throw them all over the place. What else for cancer? Two of coins. That's adjusting to a new normal, balancing. Um, it's having a choice and balancing it. It's having some decisions to make and moving forward with it. It's adjusting to a new normal. Taking control and moving forward. That's what we see here. What else do I can't see? So we got Knight of Cups reversed, and we've got the Queen King of Swords. Okay, so this could be Gemini and this could be Scorpio. So this could be this right here, this combo for me, uh, could be somebody that is not the most emotionally stable, someone that could be very kind of tyrannical or dogmatic in the worst case scenario, emotionally unbalanced very emotionally manipulative, um, could be verbally abusive, doesn't have to be, um, that's worst case scenario, but this is also about somebody that's not very stable, um, mm, could be that, okay, so we could be talking about your person, as far as, you know, we got the magician here, we got the knight of swords, it, it could be that this is someone that is pathological and their need to control and their emotional manipulation, all of that. On the flip side, it could also be that this is you taking control of your life, making executive decisions. People are on a need to know basis, getting in charge of your life and what you want and emotions or um, romance is not a factor right now. This is you not interested in romance. This could also be scenario number three, <laughs> you talking to someone you trust, whether it's friend, family, therapist, you know, somebody very, uh, who you trust and who is someone you look up to or have much respect for offering sage advice about a breakup or about this unstable relationship that you had. This could be you going to counseling to work through some of your issues about the relationship. So, I mean, that that's, there's a few possibilities there, but this is, I feel like it's you being very decisive and very protective of yourself after this broken relationship that you're like, okay, I have learned enough. My focus is on me and my stability and prosperity. And that's what I'm going after. And that's how I'm going to stay clear headed and decisive. And it's all about my career and me and my own. And honestly, that part of it looks really good. I mean, look at the pentacles here, queen of pentacles, the knight of pentacles, page of pentacles, learning and perfecting. And all the while your focus is on you taking care of yourself yours and your own. I mean, that this that part looks really good. And again, can I just say that you have it in perspective who and what your person is and you're pretty clear about that. And I think that's why you're able to move forward to make the decisions you want to make, the why you feel liberated because you kind of have that perspective on what you dealt with. Okay. All right. Shutting up. Um, I thank you for stopping by. I'm very excited about your 
future days, it looks like you're really jazzed yourself and you've got a lot of potential and you want to get out there and just create and get after it. It looks like you're excited to do so because you like you see nothing but possibility. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> okay, so I hope this was helpful and I hope to see you in the next reading. I thank you for stopping by. You take care. Bye, Cancer.